Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. Let's have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 13th of uh, April, and we'll be able to extend up beyond that with the extent of Jeff S. You set ensembles, maybe on throughout a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. That gets us into the end of April, and I shall get on that for you in a moment. Just to say about the first video say was our 6am UK weather forecast. Please like, share, and subscribe on both of today's bids. Thank you everyone for doing that. I hope you're having a lovely, 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 lovely first day. It's a lovely day out there, actually. So uh, get out and enjoy. These are the latest temperature observations from XC Weather. We're up to 20 degrees uh, across some southern parts of the country. One little station there, I can't find it at the moment. <laughs> it's uh, flashing away at 20 degrees. I mean, it's being hidden by Bostrom Down. So uh, it's near Bostrom Down anyway, up to 20 degrees there. And uh, down in the channel also up to 20 degrees. Otherwise, 18, 17 Grand Beal. Uh, we've got 18 at London Heathrow, Beacon Hill at 17, 18 at Birmingham, 15 at Leek, go further north, 14. It's bad, Adam. And uh, we've got 14 at uh, Shafallon as well. 17 at Athymore and down into Belfast. 14 degrees there. Not quite as warm far southwest. 15 at Northwick and uh, 15 at uh, Newark. I think there's some showers down there. But it's a very uh, warm afternoon across most parts of the country. A little bit cooler though around the eastern coastal areas. So uh, 9 degrees only at Loftus there on the uh, North Sea coast. Probably a bit of cloud and wind coming in off the uh, North Sea there. Let's look at the map from Earth. Of no school .net. looks like this. We've got high pressure up towards Iceland and we've got a low pressure to West Spain, Portugal. That's drawing in, drawing in the wind from uh, the east there. No, well, that's the reason it's cooler on the east coast. But winds are shifting around a little bit more towards south of east um, with the origins of the air now. And so that's why it's uh, a rather warmer day. We haven't got that chilly east wind. And tomorrow, actually, we'll see temperatures peaking probably about 22, maybe even 20. 3 degrees, goodness gracious me. Uh, central temperature is currently sitting at 9.7. That's nearly 2 degrees above 61 to 9, 90 average. That is provisional to uh, yesterday to the 2nd of April. Looks like we're moving into a warmer phase now, uh, doesn't it? After a chilly start to the year in January, uh, February came in at 1.5 degrees above average, 61 to 90, 19. Uh, and March and April both hovering around 2 degrees above average um, uh, level again. So it looks as though uh, we're back into a warm the phase after the temperature edged down a little bit uh, later last year. It'll be interesting whether that carries on into uh, the rest of this year. If it does, we could be in for another hot summer, but we'll see early days on that. These were GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. That couple of weeks we'll commentary today. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Coventry. So we're starting off above average with the upper air temperatures at the moment. We're going to see them reverting back closer to average uh, when we get into the second half of those. It's a bit of a cool down in evidence in the extent range. But of course, that is extent range, and therefore it's unreliable in the more immediate time frame, a reliable time frame, which is the next sort of week, 10 days, looking uh, mostly dry and also mild. We're aware of precipitation as well when we get this uh, drop in the upper air temperatures. But I have to keep emphasising that's extent range, it's unreliable time frame, and, you know, it's into the middle and second half of the month before for then, the first half of April, looking high and dry, uh, warm and dry. Temperature normally is next five days, taking us to the 8th of April, are above average. 6 to 10 day temperature anomaly is also above average. And the 10 to 14 day temperature anomaly is slightly above average, but a little bit closer to normal. Pretty cool, though, quite cold even across eastern parts of Europe. So it's not going to be warm everywhere, but certainly in the north and the west of Europe, it's uh, looking at a generally mild or warm for the next um, couple of weeks. And also precipitation anomalies for the next seven days, get us to the 10th of April. They're coming out drier than normally. The 8 to 14 day precipitation anomaly is also drier than average. Right, let's start going through the chart data. Let me start latest UK bet Euro run. It's looking big night on Sunday. High pressure of Scandinavia. Winds coming in uh, from the east there. So mostly dry still through the weekend. And most dry conditions are lasting into next week as well. The high pressure is really intensifying as we go through next week. Slipping south as well. So that allows a bit of a westerly storm in Scotland. Might bring a few showers there. But overall, high and dry 
this week, high and dry. Uh, next week, no change. And then this out, ICOM is looking once more. High pressure is dominating the weather, bringing lots and lots of dry and fine conditions. We head up to the end of uh, next week. <coughs> So sorry, everyone gets us to the 10th of April. We're under 1,030 millibar area of high pressure. So once again, the prolonged dry spell continues. And then the KMA looks like that. So it's all much of a virtualness through the weekend into next week. High pressure, high pressure, high pressure. Later next week, high pressure begins to weaken slightly and allows something, well, wouldn't necessarily, necessarily say un. I wouldn't. Put your teeth in, Gab. Try saying this when you've been on the magic water, which I haven't. I wouldn't necessarily say it's turning <laughs> unsettled, but it certainly is turning more mixed there with lower pressure developing and cooler as well as we are going on to the cool side of ejection with the northwest south east of light. But as ever, that's like in the extended range. We never seem to get any closer. Uh, you know, these changes never seem to get any closer into like the, the, the five to seven day time frame. It's always around day 10 or beyond it. So we may get to that by the middle of uh, April. We may not. Let's wait and see. Uh, but yeah, best midnight run. Again, high pressure, high pressure, high pressure through Sunday and much of next week. No changes whatsoever. Uh, until we get just beyond day 10, and then all of a sudden the high pressure breaks, this area of low pressure starts coming in from off the Atlantic. It turns much more unsettled and a lot cooler as well for the middle part of April. It's only a brief interruption. Remember, high pressure's back again <laughs> uh, by the end of the uh, GFS midnight run. That's the 19th of April, and we're back to a Scandinavian high and back to winds in from the east. Where are all these Scandinavian highs in December and January <laughs> and February? Well, we did get Scandinavian high in February, but there wasn't any cold with the easy win with that one, was there? But uh, where where were these candy highs, I wonder? Um, GFS 6, we say it every year, don't we, at this time of the year. Uh, GFS 6, then, again, with that high pressure in control on Sunday, and it's still there uh, through next week as well, bringing a lot, a lot of dry uh, weather. Heading up toward day 10, again, we get a change, the high pressure suddenly disappears, we get a lower pressure developing, turning things, well, more showery, I wouldn't necessarily say un unsettled, but it does turn more showery and probably unsettled actually in the extended with low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic, bringing some spells of rain. Still that high pressure lurking up towards Scandinavia, you'll notice. So mid to second half of April, we may get a change in the overall weather pattern to something cooler and more unsettled, but it's a long way off. And uh, we have seen these hints within the model output before that we're going to change weather pattern and we never quite get to it. So, again, let's wait and see. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe, and share everyone for DM out. Why not drop a comment? Let us know. Don't forget about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Web. Get them to subscribe too. And uh, we thank you so much, everyone, for DM out. About 80 subscribers gets us to 19.7k. So, if you could give us a sub, that'd be absolutely awesome. Thank you so much, uh, everyone. And uh, if you could give a little donation to Gals Web, that'd be awesome as well. Mr. Gals as well as PayPal page, so the link to this is in the description uh, with the video. Just come to our PayPal page, sign into your PayPal account, and then donate whatever you'd like to guys. Well, this will give you a shout out in the uh, video. <laughs> Hold on. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, sorry again, everyone. We'll give you a shout out in the videos. And uh, thank you so much, everyone, uh, for doing that. For, for doing that. Uh, it does help to pay for the channel, I mean, to have the channel be able to do uh, the content as well. So uh, thank you, thank you so much to uh, all of you. Well, you can pass on a message as well if you want. You might want us to, um, you know, uh, shout out uh, or give a message to a loved one, or not such a loved one. <laughs> um, uh, maybe you want us to uh, show your business or website, etc., etc., etc. YouTube channel, we're happy you know to, to give a plug and to give, give you a little bit of support as well so um um you know thank you so much everyone uh, for doing that Right, GM, again, with high pressure in control and winds coming in from the east as we go through the uh, weekend and into next week. High pressure, high pressure, high pressure, high pressure, high pressure. Do, do, do. Um, <laughs> it's a job to know what to say. You know, if I have a power, for example, I say high pressure in the videos at the moment, I would be a rich man, wouldn't I? <laughs> um, that gets us to day 10. And yes, you guessed it, it's still high pressure in control. Control, no break with the jam up to uh, day 10. 
and then the uh, ECM rounding it all off. I could just go on holiday, really, for a week, couldn't I? Come back, it'd probably all still look the same. ECM looks like this. Again, high pressure dominates the weather on Sunday. Brings a lot of fine weather, but at least it's sunny. It's such a gloomy winter. You know, I can't, well, I'm not complaining because it's nice to see the sun, but it is becoming hard to uh, come up with things to talk about in the videos, I have to admit. Uh, anyway, high pressure uh, is still dominating to the end of next week. Gradually starting to ease south. So by day 10, there is a change there with the ECM. Some blur pressure begins to head in from off the Atlantic, but not for long. The ridge soon starts building away to the east again. Uh, and that's how we look as we get to the end of the ECM run, gets us to the 18th of April, by which time it looks like high pressure taking over again as the trough is uh, slipping back southwards towards Biscay, Spain, and Portugal. This is the precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Tomato. Come showering in the south and southwest through uh, the next day or so. And then after that, it's basically dry and fine uh, right the way out towards day 10. Um, a little bit of rain arriving in the far west and northwest by day 9 and 10, but not making much inroads. These are the October table within the ECM ensembles for day 10. Gets us to the 13th of April. 19 members of the ECM ensembles have high pressure. Free west of Europe, low pressure is out to the northwest. Mostly dry and it should be pretty uh, mild with that. 15 with low pressure again to the northwest. Winds coming in from the west south westy direction. We've got 7 with high pressure over and to the east of the country. That's going to be mostly dry and quite warm. Six with high pressure reaching through the west of Europe. And four with low pressure in from the Atlantic. So there's a hint of a change at day 10, isn't there? But it's not convincing. You know, if we put the 19 here, which are quite ridgy, together with the seven there, which have high pressure, and the six here, it's not a convincing change to uh, a change at day 10 there, and high pressure may well still be dominating them. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got, and uh, this gets us to the 18th of April. 35 members of the East um, as well as with high pressure through the North and West Europe, mostly dry with that, so, you know, high pressure is back. Uh, 11 with high pressure again, dominating just to the north and northeast, and five with lower pressure, lower pressure, I should say, to the north of Scotland. So even if we do turn a bit more unsettled around day 10, it looks like we're back to high pressure again <laughs> by day 14 anyway. CFS V2, finally, these are 500 middle bar high zones broken down into weekly periods. The first week period takes us from the 3rd to the 9th of April. The next week has high pressure dominating over to the, and to the north country, low pressure out to the west. So mostly dry uh, with that high pressure is in control. Week 2. Uh, will be the 10th to the 16th of April. High pressure again is over the country. So up to the middle of April, it's high pressure all the way. Week 3 <laughs> will be the 17th to the 23rd of April. High pressure still in control. And finally, week 4 will be the 24th to the 30th of April. With high pressure to our west and northwest again, it's looking it's looking mostly dry. Um, with high pressure <laughs> <Ka -ching! laughs> for made in the ascendancy. Uh, what more can you say? I suppose the only difference is that it might be a bit cooler. We might be bringing the wind a little bit more from the north, but other than that, it's not a lot more to say. Uh, right, well, that's it, Ben. We're done. <laughs> a high pressure fest. Uh, thanks so much, everyone, uh, for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment, let's say, we'll be back this and all our videos, content, live streams, etc., etc., etc. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals, always get them to subscribe too. Share with everyone. Yeah, that is, you can make a little donation. Give a little donation to Gab. That would be absolutely awesome. It does help at this time of the year when, uh, you know, views and interest has dropped off, particularly if it's high pressure scenario. Uh, people just aren't that interested. Um, though uh, we're not earning that much of the ad revenue at the moment. So, uh, you know, uh, if, if you are enjoying the content, then please can you consider giving a donation to Gav as whether it's, and we will give you a shout out. And thank you, thank you so much, everyone, for doing doing that. Okay, well uh, we're done. So tomorrow we have a 6 UK weather forecast. Jeremy Friday and it's 10 to 14 day. Keep checking back to the channel for more. But for this one, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow and bye for now.